It's been a, a reaction of uh, denial and protestation coming here from, uh, from China. Uh, the uh, Chinese embassy in Canada released a statement this Thursday where they uh, firmly opposed uh, and condemned uh, these types of actions and uh, where they uh, demanded that, that Canadian authorities immediately release uh, Mrs. Meng and uh, as well as uh, demanding the release, the men as, uh, in their own words, uh, that uh, the Canadian authorities rectify their wrongdoing. Uh, Huawei also also published a statement this uh, Thursday. They explained that uh, their chief financial officer had been arrested while transiting through Canada and that the charges against her were not specified. They added that uh, they had no, not any, no knowledge of any wrongdoing on their, on their end. And they also added that uh, Huawei also always complies with the laws of the countries it, op it operates in. It's important to note here that uh, Huawei is an extremely important company in China. It's a national technological champion. Uh, it's one of the biggest uh, telecoms equipment manufacturers, uh, makers in the world that uh, generated $90 billion in revenue in 2017. Uh, and it's also a company that, that has close ties to power. Its founder, that, who founded the company in the 1980s, was a former engineer in the People's Liberation Army. So with this arrest, uh, the United States is really tackling a symbol of China's uh, sort of technological advancement.